An alternating series is an infinite series of the form the sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the power of n by a n. So for example, imagine we have the sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the power of n. So we can see that this series is minus 1 to the power of 0 plus minus 1 to the power of 1 plus minus 1 to the power of 2 plus minus 1 to the power of 3 and so forth. And tidying this up we have minus 1 to the power of 0 so 1 plus minus 1 to the power of 1 so plus by minus minus 1 minus 1 to be squared so plus 1 minus 1 to be cubed so minus 1 by plus minus 1 and so forth. Here we can see that the sign keeps alternating between successive terms hence the name alternating series. The alternating series test states that an alternating series will converge if the terms a n converge to zero monotonically, that is, that the magnitude of each successive term is less than or equal to the previous term. So if the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n equals zero, and the absolute value of a n plus one is less than or equal to the absolute value of a n, then the series is convergent. So let's test the series from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the power of n by n, the cubed root of n, plus 2n all over n squared minus root n for convergence. From the alternating series test, we know that we need to check that the limit as n goes to infinity of a n equals 0 and that the absolute value of a n plus 1 is less than or equal to the absolute value of a n. So first of all, the absolute value of a n equals the absolute value of minus 1 to the power of n, n by n to the 1 over 3 plus 2n, n squared minus root n. The absolute value of minus 1 to the power of n, so the absolute value of minus 1 or plus 1 is simply plus 1. So we get 1. So adding the indices here n to the 4 over 3 plus 2n all over n squared minus n to the half which is approximately n to the 4 over 3 over n squared or 1 over n to the 2 over 3. Now the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n is the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n 2 over 3 so 0 over 1 so simply 0 so we have satisfied point 1 now for point 2 we need to show that the absolute value of a n plus 1 is less than or equal to the absolute value of a n so we have that the absolute value of a n is roughly 1 over n to the power of 2 over 3 so we can see then that the absolute value of a n plus 1 is going to be roughly 1 over n plus 1 to the power of 2 over 3. And as n plus 1 is on the denominator, this means that the absolute value of a n plus 1 is going to be less than or equal to the absolute value of a n. That is, that 1 over n plus 1 to 2 over 3 is less than or equal to 1 over n to the 2 over 3. And hence point 2 is satisfied and thus the series converges.